So if you own an 11 to 14 five liter powered F-150 and you're tired of looking around for the loudest and most affordable exhaust currently available, then you should be happy because you found it. This is the MBRP P-Series single exhaust system in the factory side exit configuration. And at around the $350 price point, this is hands down the most affordable exhaust currently available for this truck. I'm also happy to say it is one of the loudest. I'm gonna give this a healthy five out of five on my loudness meter. Guys, if you have a cold morning and you have a cold start, it will wake your neighbors and you'll definitely hear this thing rolling down the street before you even see your truck. Now, you should not be afraid of this thing. If you wanna hear some volume inside the cab, you're definitely gonna be getting some of that. There is a little bit of drone to speak of around the 2000 to 2500 RPM band, but when you mash on that pedal, you get a really nice throaty and deep sound all the way to red line. There's a couple of back pressure crackles and pops, which I kind of like, gives it a little bit of a hot rod kind of sound. And at idle, it's really deep and lopy. Definitely makes that five liter thump the way that it should. Now, as far as the install goes, pretty straightforward. This is technically a bolt-on kit. You don't have to cut or weld anything. You get away with not having to use any power tools. We are working with some heavy stuff here. Taking the factory exhaust off can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. So for that reason, I'm gonna give the install a modest two out of three wrenches on my patented difficulty meter. And it should take you about two to three hours to get this system installed. Now, if you were curious about why this system is so affordable, well, that's a pretty simple explanation. It is a no frill setup. Honestly, if you take a look at this thing installed right now, you would not be able to tell that this is not the factory exhaust system. The P-Series ditches all that fancy stuff like polished exhaust tips and stainless steel. Now, the system is made out of aluminized steel, which is an entry-level steel. However, you don't have to worry about rust or corrosion as long as you keep the undercarriage clean every once in a while. And MBRP does let us know they reinforce all the welds on their systems with aluminum silicone which is where normally you'd have to deal with those stress cracks and those leaks. So you don't have to worry about this thing breaking on you anytime soon. It also uses a factory flange to connect to your Y pipe. So again, no custom modification necessary. And we are reusing all of our factory hanger locations and rubber isolators. So you don't have to invest in any extra tools or hardware to speak of. So again, if you want the loudest possible exhaust, you want something that's really affordable and you want something that's really understated and honestly something that you can't really tell is not a factory setup, then this is the system for you. And if you decide to pull the trigger on this one, you can come back in a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what tools you need to get the job done. And I'm gonna walk you through the entire install step by step. All right guys, to install our new exhaust system at minimum, you'll need a standard drive ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket, as well as a 9 16th deep socket and wrench. Now optional but helpful tools include an impact swivel socket, an impact gun, an air ratchet, an exhaust hanger puller tool, some spray lubricant, a pry bar, and a dead blow mallet. All right, so we're gonna remove our factory exhaust as one piece. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could cut it in sections and remove it, but I'm a fan of retaining all my factory equipment. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull both of the bolts securing our factory cap back to our Y pipe. Those bolts have 13 millimeter heads on them, so you'll need a 13 millimeter socket or 13 millimeter wrench. All right, now that we've loosened that clamp, the next step is spraying down all of our rubber isolators, securing the exhaust hangers to the truck itself. And there are three in total. There's one directly in front of the muffler, one behind it, and one at the tailpipe. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna spray those down, let them soak for a minute. It's very helpful to have a pry bar or a dead blow mallet when you do this, by the way, because those might be a little bit corroded. You're gonna spray them down, let them soak for a minute. You're actually gonna push the entire exhaust system back towards the rear of the truck. That's gonna clear all those rubber isolators and get all those exhaust hangers out of there. And you can actually pull the entire cap back with the muffler, mid pipe and tail pipe as one piece out from underneath. It's very helpful to have a friend with you if you do this, but I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, so we sprayed down all those rubber isolators so we can free up those exhaust hangers. Now, again, you wanna take your time when you push this thing back because once those fall out, that entire exhaust is gonna be coming down. So again, have a friend with you if at all possible. Now, if you're doing this by yourself, a good way to go about it is to let the tailpipe rest on the axle itself. Then you can get some leverage up front on the mid pipe and you can slowly drag the entire exhaust out from underneath the truck. So just take your time with this one. So we got factory exhaust removed. We got the new installer series here sitting next to it. We went ahead and we mocked everything up. That way you guys can get a nice comparison, see some of the similarities and differences here. And obviously the big difference is our muffler, right? 
Factory muffler keeps things way too quiet. That five liter motor doesn't really have any room to breathe. The new installer series muffler is basically a straight through design. I can't show you guys right now, but basically there's a couple of perforations in there, but there's really no baffling or chambers or any sound dampening to speak of. It'll keep things sounding good at idle. You won't get that gurgly kind of open header sound that you might if you just cut off your factory exhaust. But besides that, once you get on the pedal, this thing's gonna really open up and give you all that volume. Now we're also ditching our factory resonator. That's gonna add more volume. Our new bin pipe is also a little bit bigger in diameter. That's gonna give you some deeper tone before it hits that muffler and exits out the tailpipe. So in a bunch of different ways, it just sounds a lot better, right? Some cool similarities to point out here. We do not have to cut this system. I mentioned that earlier, and that's because they do throw in an extension pipe that you can throw onto the mid pipe, depending on that cabin bed length. So you don't gotta worry about a chop saw or a sawzall or anything like that. Now, this system is made out of aluminized steel. It's not stainless, but that's not to worry. As long as you keep things relatively clean on the undercarriage, you shouldn't have to worry about this thing developing leaks or rusting out on any of the welds or anything like that. And MBRP even says that they reinforce all the welds on here with aluminum silica. That's gonna help further prevent any rust or corrosion concerns. And then lastly, we have all of our factory hangers in the same location with the new system. So no custom modification. We're not throwing any new hangers or rubber isolators in place. And then also, we are retaining that factory connection up front there to the mid pipe. So we're gonna throw this new guy on here. So let's grab that mid pipe, go ahead and grab those bolts, nuts, and flat washers. And I'll show you guys how to throw the mid pipe on and we'll get everything in place. All right, so to fit the mid pipe in place, we'll be grabbing those hex head bolts and nuts in the kit. Those are 9 16th nuts and bolts. So you'll need a 9 16th deep socket and wrench. All right, now that our mid pipe's in place, we can throw our muffler up there. In order to secure the muffler to the mid pipe, you'll be grabbing this clamp and hanger combo. Now, it might seem a little weird, but when this is actually installed, the fasteners themselves are gonna be facing up towards the truck itself, and the hanger's gonna be coming down towards the clamp itself. It's a little bit of a weird orientation, but it makes sure that it gets the mid pipe in the correct position for the muffler and the tailpipe assembly. So, it might be a little bit of a cramped space when you go to tighten these 9 16 nuts down, so it's helpful to use a standard drive ratchet or an air ratchet, because an air gun probably won't fit up there. You also want to spray down that rubber isolator, make it a lot easier on this hanger. All right, now that our muffler is in place, we can throw on our over axle pipe and our tailpipe. Pretty standard stuff, it's the same process, just spray down the rubber isolators for the exhaust hangers, and make sure you throw those D-clamps on there and tighten those down with that 916 deep socket. So once you got your tailpipe in place, do yourself a favor, double check all your clamps, make sure they're nice and tight so you don't have any leaks, and you should be good to go. And that wraps up this review and install of MBRP's P-Series single exhaust system in the factory exit configuration, fitting your 11 to 14 5 liter powered F-150. I'm Travis, thanks for watching, and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.